Okay, so sliced um, Benchy using a 0.1 layer height versus the uh, pre-sliced Benchy. And both came out really good, but if you take a look at it, you can see the 0.1 layer height definitely smoother. Um, less obvious lines, lettering on the bottom, uh, a lot clearer. Um, not a lot into it, but uh, this took ooh, about 50 minutes to print, so a lot longer, but mm, definitely a better result. Uh, right, we'll find something else to print. Right, a practical test print. Uh, cover for my swimming pool jet outlet. See how this comes out. I've also got another one running on the resin printer in case this one doesn't work. Using PLA, which probably isn't the best, but if uh, I'll use this to just test the size, make sure it's right, and then perhaps use the uh, uh, PLA carbon or uh, PET G. Let's see if that works out better. Anyway, I'll let it run and see how good it looks. Okay, so it's finished the uh, the cap. See the threads inside there. So next thing is to go and take it out to the swimming pool and see if it screws on and fits. So I did this with 100% infill. Um, but we'll see how it holds up. So I've been doing some on the resin printer, but they've been uh, lasting for a few weeks and then the thread's been breaking um, so it's probably just the material I'm using need to use some tougher stuff but let's see if this is the right size that's been sliced and then if this doesn't hold up we'll just try some tougher material okay so cap fitted um, threaded on quite nicely uh, the, probably the best fit I've had from the cups I've produced um, yeah so the tolerance with the threads is perfect screwed right on by hand um, got this thing up to full pressure on the pool pumps and it's holding nicely so yeah perfect uh, I'll leave that in place for a couple of days and we'll uh, see if we can hold up to the abuse Right, another practical print this time. So this is the uh, uh, precise slice file that came with it for the poop bucket to go onto the back of the printer. Uh, so I figured I'd run that off so at least I can get that in place. I put those anti-vibration sheet on as well. Um, seems to be wobbling around, but <laughs> let's see if that makes any major difference. Uh, at least everything else isn't wobbling as much as it was, so it seems to be cutting down the vibrations on the table. But anyway, um, then there's the spool there, so it looks like it's going to run out before the print's complete, which is good because I want to see what happens when it does run out of filament and what it takes to change it and how it picks back up afterwards. So that'll be a nice little test. All right, I'll let it get on with it. This is supposed to be a uh, what is it? Uh, almost two-hour print. So, have fun. All right, so I've come back, and sure enough, filament is out. Now, what's interesting is I'm looking at the tube here, and there's the spool empty. Filament run-out sensor is empty. It looks like. It has dragged every last bit of filament through the tube into the print head, spat it out, and then stopped once it realizes it's out. And now down on the keypad here, on the screen, it says the filament is running out. Please replace in time and confirm. So I am going to guess, although I'm going to go and check with the manual, that I just grab a new spool, stick it on the end, feed it back in and let it continue. So 
let's uh, let's go and see what happens. I'm gonna get a new spool and push it in, and I'll get back to you. Back again, so I put on a new rule, uh, new reel of green filament. That shitty stuff that kept breaking uh, in my Cobra Three Max. Um, cut it off with a nice pointy tip, threaded it through, came all the way through here. Now I had to straighten out this part of the tube to be able to pass it through all the way around and into the head until it could no longer go any further. So I'm going to hit confirm. And uh, this is nozzle temp 250. Adjust the print temperature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit load. Okay, watching the temperature rise. Perhaps I should have done this before I started pushing the filament through. here so we can see what's going to be going on. Okay, load the filament. Grab the filament. I'm grabbing the filament. What more does it want me to do? Put my camera down for a second and uh, see if it needs me to feed it a bit more. Okay. Click completed if filament extruded. Uh, yeah, it looks like it did. Complete. Adjust the print temperature. That down bit. Load. Okay, it looks like it extruded some green filament, so what the hell is the problem? Nozzle heating. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? Load filament, a half. Grab the filament. What the fudge does grab the filament mean? Click completed if the filament is extruded. If not, please push forward and click retry. Well, it's completed. Oh, God, Bennett, what is this damn piece of shit doing? Right, let me go and play with this, see what the hell's going on. Alright, so I've pushed harder. I can see filament coming out of the back there. Click completed. Completed. 
back to this screen again. What the hell? It's done it. It's loaded. <sighs> ah, okay, so let's go back to the home screen. Perhaps if I now just press continue. Ah, all right. So now <laughs> that made as much sense as something oh, okay so you load the filament you see it coming out of the extruder at the back once you're happy with it coming with the extruder at the back you then come here press home go back to your screen and press play right did we all get that There it is, putting down a ugly layer of green filament on top of the red. I'll leave it to it. So it's got what's that? 49 minutes to go. Okay, com printing complete. Let's see if I can oh, pull that off. So, yep. Ooh, nice lettering, nice and clear. Um, yeah, so those are the holes that are going to hang on the back, and it really does need a poop shoot because uh, you can hear the filament falling out the back of that chute as it drops down. So I don't feel any anything to hang it on at the moment, but there's a couple of screws there, so I probably need to get the screwdriver out, slack them off drop this down and then tighten them back up again that should take care of it so yeah so quality wise looks very nice there's the line of course with the filament change and best of all I'm running my thumb over that join and I can't feel anything so it uh, it changed perfectly uh, yeah very nice indeed so, just to recap, when it runs out of filament, it's going to drag the last of the filament all the way through the tube into the printhead. Uses it all. Brilliant. No waste. Then, it's going to tell you down here uh, to reload filament. Now, I didn't press OK on this first. I already changed the reel, forced the filament up the tube all the way around. I had to straighten this just to make sure it got into the printhead. And then I went down to this and pressed load and it preheated the nozzle to whatever temperature I set it to. Um, then it would start to feed it in. It asks if you can see the filament coming out the nozzle and it parks the print head on the back of the poop chute here. And if you can see the filament, the new filament coming out, a little bit of green hang in there. If you can see the filament coming out the nozzle, you should be good to go. What was confusing me was it looked like it kept asking me to keep reloading it and reloading it and reloading it and press OK. But once you can see the filament coming out the nozzle there, you press the home button, which will take you back to a screen and you can press play and it will resume the print. So that's the bit that was throwing me is the fact that I had to go back using the home screen to another screen and hit play. Seemed a bit weird, but hey, now I know. Um, but filament swap did work, worked perfectly. And I really do like the fact that it uses up every last scrap of filament on that spool. All right, let me go and upload this so you can see it. Oh, one last thing, so that's the uh, bucket attached to the chute. So pieces will fall out here land in the bucket and you can clean them out so all I had to do is use the hex wrench and do these two screws at the bottom back them out a bit and I could slide the bucket on tighten them back up and there you go so I've got something to catch the filament so it just doesn't fall down the back if you ever wonder about this <laughs> filament poop look at that now I do have a bucket in place here 
uh, and uh, it still goes everywhere as you can see uh yeah the creality really does throw it around it didn't i did print um a guide to try and deflect the stuff downwards but once the head came across it snapped it off broke it and it fell into the bucket so i need to find a better one something that just makes them fall down instead of across the room so i mean hell look at look at the distance there's two pieces here it's gone <laughs> you know? uh yeah hell of a distance there so, yeah Right, back to uploading.